How's it going, Raywind Drews here with Mobile 4? On the last episode, ah, we got to do some interesting stuff. We got some new characters, by the way. Um, one of which is in our party right now. We actually had... Who, who else had to join this? Kanbei as well. And... That wasn't the episode that we got Zeus in. No, we used... Because we used Zeus last episode. Who else did we get? Kanbei... Jia Chong, oh, it might have been Jia, no, 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 I think he came when, when Zeus came. I actually forgot who we got last episode. I, I want to say Kanbei and Zhang Hui. Because Munanori Yagyu came along with Jia Chong and Zeus. Yeah, I think that's how it came. Uh, anyway, uh, so for the next stage here, we're going to do another story mission. We don't have any side missions that I'm aware of. Let me do a quick check, actually. I don't think... Yeah, I haven't gotten a new side mission just yet. Uh, before we get in there, I'm really lacking growth points. So luckily, um, getting him to level 13 is enough to get all of his actions, which is most important. Luckily, he has a weapon to fall back on to kind of compensate for the levels he's lacking. Um... Same goes for our buddy here, he's level 15. Luckily, Sun Chuan was already level 20 for us, so we didn't have to worry about that. But level 15, uh, so it would appear level 13 is good enough for Samurai Warrior characters. But for Dynasty Warrior characters, uh, it's debatable. I think you need to be maybe level 14 for these characters because they do have the Muso attack, the aerial Muso that costs 4 points as well. So. Um, may, maybe you can get away with level 13, uh, but 14 to be safe. 15 for sure will get you, as you can see, level 15 can get us some good juice here. We can get these additional skill points. I'm still lacking one to get this, but that is not a problem. Uh, Weapon-wise, we are running these right now. He's got Brilliance, so Bolt, Ice, and Slay. Uh, Ice, Slay, and Flame are all going to be activating all the time. I'm going to try my best to keep this up because since we are an extremely low level party, um, we need to abuse these weapons as much as possible. Right now the stage is like level 40, alright? like It's almost triple the level of what I am. So I have to be very careful uh, for my decisions. Um, this weapon looks totally awesome, can't wait to try that out in the battle. And we've got some ice and wind slay which is fantastic, some reach. Um, I think we're going to be relatively okay just because of the weapons. Uh, warrior training, we should have a bunch of people coming back to us right after this fight. Uh, I need to get my level 1s to level up really. I need, to, I need to get them in there. Okay, I need to get them in there. Uh, weapons are looking good. Treasures, I went and swapped everyone's treasure to the second one just to mess around with the new treasure. Even if, Regardless if I like it or not, let's just play around with the new treasure because why the heck not, right? Um, so there's that. And I think we're ready. I don't think this party has any costumes, no. So let's go ahead and jump into Orochi. King of Serpents, level 49 stage. Good lord. All right. So, uh, Idrisil nears completion. Achieve victory in an all-out battle against the demons and defeat Orochi X. Defeat five officers within three minutes. No problem. One without any allies being defeated. I'll try my best. Defeat Orochiax within eight minutes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Because if he's the boss of the stage... Four crystals for defeating Orochiax, by the way. Because if he is the final boss of the stage, am I really looking to end the stage in eight minutes? Am I going to have enough kills for S-Ranks? Regardless, I would like to get the battle objectives as usual. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> The passion of Yuki Murdo. Well, so we, we're here to place his power into the bracelet and become even more powerful than we were before. Orochi 
正義感が強く武勇に優れた少女だ。Righteous and brave warrior。それがなぜ滅びを願う魔王に。悲しい生き違いで、やつは天帝に刃を向ける滞在を犯した。その際、魔物を封じていた心境が終わる。悪しき気を一心に受けた王龍は、オロチへと変異した。わしらは何とか奴を捕らえたが、罪が罪だけに、永遠の罰を与えることとなった。それを逃がしたのが、ダッキじゃ。永遠の罰から逃れるために世界を創造せし、魔王、オロチよ。その輪にこの信長が立ってくれよぞ。And good guy n o b u n a g a それこそがオロチの望みでもある。みな、全力で、やつを撃ってくれ。Fight him at full strength, homie. There's no other way to fight this dude. You know what I'm saying? So we have to defeat him. This stage looks extremely familiar. I feel like, isn't this the last stage we fought? Um, you know what? This is a stage where Orochi fought Orochi X in. Holy, holy moly.、Um, so, we have defeat five monsters within three minutes. I see one, two, three, four. I mean, that's possible. Definitely possible if I rush to their kills. We should go ahead and rush those officer kills for the objectives. And what, defeat Orochi X within eight minutes.、Um, That is debatable. Okay, so there's a. Wow, he's the, the boss of the stage. To defeat him within eight minutes, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that one off, to be completely honest with you. Yoshitsune, hurry up and join us. Stop messing around. Look at all the dudes that we're eventually gonna get Giyuki, Doromeki, Venkai, Himiko, Yoshitsune. There's still a ton of characters that we don't have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's at least seven characters here that we don't have yet. Um, and I heard Diamondback is gonna join us too. He's like a, a joke character. So that's, was that eight characters or whatever? I forgot how to count. So, whatever. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. What is going on? Is this a Rochi theme? Regular Rochi theme? No. What's happening? <laughs> Who wishes to die to the hand of Gilgamesh? Lo Vali. Do not allow Suzy to be defeated. Let's go ahead and get this officer rush going. I need four more kills within three minutes. This weapon is insane, dude. Some twins a monster? Is that what I'm seeing here? Haha! Okay, they've begun advancing, not a problem. How many officers have I killed? What a horrible aspect this tree has. Memories of the Hydra! Damn right. Let's go ahead and do a unique magic here. Man, this character, he's gonna be a load of fun to play in.、Uh, how we doing? We got the kills we needed, my friends. We got the kills we needed within three minutes. Let's just keep the pressure going. This one's speaking, so he must be next. Well, you cannot block forever, my shadow. Uh-huh! Alright, let's go ahead and destroy this thing. Got it. Let's just keep on going. Aha!、Uh -huh. Orochi has appeared. Lord Orochi. 
Go ahead and defeat these other officers as well. Advance with Orochi. Okay. Let's do a unique magic. Let's just check it out. Oh, that is that. Okay, okay, Joe Tai. Kind of happy I'm playing these characters right now. Go ahead and uh, head south. We need to do these objectives if we're expecting to defeat Orochi within eight minutes. So let's go ahead and blow this room up. The party I have, man, despite their low levels, they are in here. They are thirsty for blood. Oh, no, the freeze. Alright, let's go ahead and grab these goodies. I need to defeat these officers. I understand we're being attacked, our commander and all that, but they need to... They're going to have to man up. Oh, screw you, Dota Mickey. Alright, let's go ahead and defeat what's in this room. How do I get in there? There's another officer that appeared. Daji. Okay, not a problem. Come on in here, my lady. Let's do a... Uh, let's go ahead and do a unique magic here from this one. Oh! This is such a cool one. So all the targets have been defeated. Uh, until they give me my next mission, let's go ahead and squash some more officers here. Objectives are... Priority, my friends. Look at that, man. This guy is actually a monster. Several griffins have appeared. Oh, look at... Look at what's happening to the back of our, uh... Holy moly, we need to keep going this direction. If that guy wants to fight, they'll chase us. Operation, get the objectives done, baby. Defeat Kiyomori Taira. How much time do we have? Three minutes. I have the weirdest feeling that this battle does not freaking end. So Mukan has appeared. Man, do I have to defeat this guy or not? I'm unsure. Let's go ahead and do one of these. Just to do it. Alright, let's do one of these as well. Uh, we should have probably killed the Chaos Legion first, but that's okay. Man, this place, these little, uh, these griffins are a pain in the ass. Oof, almost died. Let's go ahead and do one of these. Do I really need to kill these griffins is the question. I don't, I'm unsure. Probably don't need to. I feel like I have to, though. Damn it, we have to keep going. I don't know if I have to kill these guys. We just need to kill, uh... Ugh. We have two minutes to defeat whatever's in this room. I don't know if killing those griffins was necessary. Alright, that's one uh, clone dead. Alright, we need another one. Alright. We're looking we're looking A-OK. -okay. The Griffins up to the north are actually dead, so my help did not go unnoticed. Let's see if this door opens now. He's uh, resumed his march. Oh, we did have to kill those to resume his march. 
No allies dying is going to be difficult. All right, let's see if we can handle Orochi in a minute. Uh, it's going to be a risky one, but I have to try. You're not Orochi. Holy moly. Okay. Let's just blow this room up. Hopefully my time is being frozen. We have a minute to destroy this room. Alright, he is defeated. This gate has to open. If we ever if we have a chance in defeating him in 40 seconds, it has to be right now that it opens. Who has brilliance on their weapon? Let's find out. Um Damn it, I can't see your weapon, can I? Yes, I can. I oh man, it has to be Zhong Hui that does it. Let's do it. Open the gate, 40 seconds. It's totally doable. It's doable. It's doable. He's healing! We got him! We got him! <laughs> War's not over! I hope this gate opens. I need to save my friends. Holy moly! We have like 30 seconds left. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh! Hold on a second. How are our battle objectives looking? Win without an officer dying. Boy, I will. You know what? Throw a bomb over there. All right, you got Daji and Kiyomori tied out here as well. Tarnation, man. You know what, you fools? Everybody, come get this juice, baby. <laughs> Uh-uh, Orochi got it! You got them hands. Objectives completed. Hell yeah. Definitely not getting S rank with kills, but I'm I'm happy enough to get all the objectives. I don't think anyone died. I hope not. しかし、また魔王が蘇るとは思わなかったよ。もう二度と会いたくないものだな。あら、それはどうか。おお、what is Orochi-sama,と一緒に遊ぶのって最高に楽しいんだもの。さっきの戦いもすごく刺激的だったし。ジャンヌ、全力を尽くしたものの我が輩たちをそしてオロチ様は破れた。もはやオーディンに尽く
いずれ力を吸われて消されるかもしれぬ<笑>あんな神の餌にさせられるかもしれぬとにかくオロチ様が復活するまで私たちもあんたたちも滅んじゃ困るのだったら<笑>一緒にオーディンを止めてあげる実に身勝手な言い分ではあるが戦力が増えるのは歓迎するオーディンという火種は厄介極まりないゆえな味方に引き入れ妖魔を縛るかそれもよいちょい待ちダッキちゃんの先生から一もついてく Eight, nine characters in one battle. What the shit? Wow. One battle, nine characters. What the hell? That is insane. Humans, gods, mystics, and demons. Yeah, we are an odd bunch indeed. <laughs> the bewitching tactician, the goddess of thickness, has joined our army. Sun Wukong, the clever, mischievous monkey. Himiko, the innocent future queen. The wayward priest, Kiyomori Taira. Yoshitsune Minamoto! He's actually a beast. I had a lot of fun playing with him in Wo3U, that's for sure. Never been,、uh, really been a fan of this character, but I'll take it. A Buddhist monk, huh? Dodomeki, the agile demon. Gyuki. We all love to watch him abuse animals when he mounts them. Ah, a little mount. Diamondback. Actually, a new character. He was never playable in the previous games, but he's here now. Maybe he's a beast. Who knows? We did not. We 400 kills away? But you know. Wow. There's an 18 minute time limit to get an S rank? So, next time, I could just literally take my damn time. Do whatever the hell I want. That's an easy S rank right there for kills.、Uh, let's see what we get weapon wise. All these、uh, three star weapons.、Um, I hope they do an update soon where it shows me the difference between a three and a four star like this, for example, these two. Because until then, it is, it is kind of a pain on the eye to see all this here. For me, anyway. You guys are all gonna have super weapons. You don't need none of this. Dismantle for life. Man, so we, we sh we're we probably getting really close to the ending of the game. We have to be. Oh, that's interesting. そのせいか時空が歪み幻影なども現れているようすオーディンのもとへ行くには時間がかかりそうですなしかし迅速に進まればオーディンを倒す前に世界が壊れてしまうかええ立ち止まっている暇はありません何としてもオーディンの野望を止めましょう全ての世界を人を Destined to be destroyed. 
What are you hitting me with now? Side mission? Oh, what's this? Oh, no, no, just characters leveling up. Three-star weapons, bunch of three-star poopies, but we got a bunch of treasure. Uh, oh, we got a four-star, yeah, baby. A four-star that we don't need. And some more three-stars, that's fine with me. So let's go ahead, she got to level 16 in that go. Let's take a look at who we're gonna need for the next story mission, actually. They didn't, they haven't given me a side mission. So maybe we're done with the side missions. I don't, hell if I know. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the elite party. Oh, oh wow. They want me to use three god characters? Do you guys wanna be sent to hell or what? You want boots and, and fists? Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. Boots and fists it is. We can, uh, is that? We'll, we'll, we'll do different combinations, I suppose. Oh, wow, Dota Meki. They came with some good stuff. Fairly interesting. Uh, do 414. 424. And we're going to need another 424. Uh, All right. Let me see if I can get someone. All right, so her uh, morale still working. How's his? His is kind of max. Let's see if I can find someone else to replace. Uh, boom. He needs some, uh, friendship for no reason. How's Machow? Hit Machow's is maxed. We can also do UA Gene. That's fine with me. And Sal P, how's yours looking, buddy? Sal P needs love. So this is a A-OK. -okay. We got a pretty decent party for, uh, boots and fists. Uh, no new mounts yet. I'm gonna just stick with Slipe Near, the 20, whatever. It's more speed. Um, so this is going to be our party for the next fight, oddly enough. Uh, I kind of want to see what these new characters are packing before we get crazy. So we have Pestle. Okay, okay. Pestle. Purging Pestle. So these are all the Pestle users they gave us at once. Like a million of them. And then the rest are Tosuka no Surugi. Uh, interesting. Actually, you know what? I just messed up, guys. I just, I just messed up. Hold on. I forgot to go back to this party. And this person was Soon Chuan. I forgot to do their... Uh... We gotta go into a side mission first. Almost forgot. They almost got me, man. This is so... freaking confusing. Alright, here we go. Next time I should just do the damn... Uh, put them in order. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and check out all three of these characters. I'll probably start off with Munenori Yagyu. Or maybe I'll do them last. We'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into a mock battle. And then we'll go ahead and equip our new party. Check out their weapons. They'll be ready for next episode. Ready for everything, really. Um, that was a damn fast stage. I'll say that. 18 minutes for S rank, though. That's crazy. So, uh, our good friend here. He has a no biscuit and a two-piece chicken wing. Which is going to be quite easy. Jumping triangle. Oh. Wow. I love when you give me that Talaria shit, baby. Jump o jump over people. Woo! Alright. Jumping square, jumping basic. Alright. Uh regular triangle. And for some reason my EX is not coming out. Oddly enough, my EX is not coming out from that attack. I wonder if that is a bug of sorts. There we go. There we go. We got him that time. I wonder what's the trigger for this. Because it's working sometimes, but then it's not working other times. Do I need someone to be directly in the middle of the attack? Let's see if I can lock on to someone. Perfect. Let's see if we can get you with it. Alright, it, I seem to have better succession when I'm locked on to someone. Okay. Still a little funky. This is not working properly, in my opinion. Even when locked on, I have to hit him twice with it. So his EX is actually a little funky. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the basic attacks. We'll check it out again when more people spawn. More bodies, please. There we go. Basic attacks. Keep in mind, he does have a bunch of elements on his weapon, so it may or may not look like this when you get yours. Uh, one piece chicken wing. 
Two piece chicken wing into EX. Three piece chicken wing. Four piece chicken wing. Do it again. Just cause just to check it out. Five piece chicken wing. Check it out again just because. Uh so regular Musou attack. Literally turns into Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night or Fate Zero. We'll do that one again. I don't think I held down the button long enough, so I may not have done that complete animation. There we go. Uh, next we'll do... Let's spawn some more victims here. Next we'll do the uh, Raging Musou Attack. Oh, I gotta do the Aerial Musou Attack as well. Let's not forget that. Then he plays a little song for you at the orchestra. Kazam, Kazoom, they're all dead. Uh, jumping, Musou Attack. Kind of interesting. He's like coming down, performing, looking like some sort of god himself. Hello, peasants. And you can kind of float in the direction you're pointing just a little bit. You don't get to move too much. And uh, unique magic is the last thing we have to see. Boom! A bunch of blades fall down on you. And that is all she wrote. We'll check out Munanori Yagyu uh, next. So he's got up to a four-piece chicken wing, which is kind of awesome. Let's go ahead and check out uh, his basic attacks. Or oh, actually, jumping charge attack. Jumping basic. And let's go ahead and look at all the uh, basic attacks. Here. Perfect. And now for the one-piece chicken wing. Spawn me more minions, please. Alright, two-piece chicken wing. Three-piece chicken wing. One that I was using to really kill a lot of officers. It was actually one-shotting Sun Wukong. Three-piece, baby, again. It was doing a ton of damage. Uh, and then when we spawn more, we'll do the four-piece here in a moment. Four-piece chicken wing. That one was also killing a lot of people, too. I may have done it once in that battle. But it's totally awesome. Uh, now we'll do the regular Musou attack. Of all the Samurai Warrior characters, that's definitely one of the more impressive Musou, regular Musou attacks. A lot of them end and look, uh, they end quickly and look quite bland. That one lasted a lot longer than your typical Samurai Warrior Musou attack. And it looked awesome. Uh, what do we have left? Raging Musou Attack, which we had seen. We had seen once. It's that Jotai juice right there, baby. And all we have left is the Unique Magic. Some more Jotai juice. I mean, they are Samurai, of course. And that is it for that character. Now we have the new weapon here. Whew, which... This weapon came out in Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires, and it did not have all of the full movesets. You could do, like, basic stuff, but you couldn't do everything with it. So this is the first time you really get to see, in this game, every single move that this uh, weapon has to offer. So we'll go ahead. Uh, he's got no biscuit and a three-piece. We'll go ahead and do a jumping charge attack. Jumping basic. They're actually both quite good, I would say. Um... Let's go ahead and do the regular charge attack into EX. That one's actually awesome. It's like he's injecting a bomb into your body. Kind of like uh, Hisahide uh, Matsunaga from Sengo Sengoku Basra, where he puts like bombs in your chest and stuff. Kind of cool. That is just a regular EX attack. Pretty awesome. One piece chicken wing into jumping charge, which is quite nice. You can do a lot of things with that, actually. Like, you could really get something going with that. Anyway, uh, so we've seen regular charge, one piece. I 
I kind of really like that one piece. Two piece chicken wing. Three piece chicken wing, which we've seen a lot of dashing around. And that is also his EX attack. Um, he glows yellow so quickly that it's kind of hard to notice. Look for it. Oh, right there. It, it was there for like a moment. It's kind of difficult to see. Let's see if we can see it here. Oh, we have to hit people. Right here. Boom. So it ha the EX does come out for a second, and it's real flashy. It looks cool. Um, Four-piece chicken wing. Five-piece chicken wing. Oh, and did we check out all the basic attacks this thing has? Don't recall if I do. Uh, but we just did it there. <laughs> Five-piece again. Oh, ba Oh! Woo! Look at that four piece. So things are looking a little, a little, a little interesting, man. What do you guys think about this weapon? I kind of like messing around with it. Four piece. Piece? Or was that a fort man? I don't know. It feels like it's changing. I wonder if it has to do with my weapon glowing or not. If that's a thing. Let's go ahead and try this again. So three piece into EX. So now my weapon is no longer glowing. Ooh, do my charge attacks change based on if my weapon's glowing or not? This is something we're going to have to... Uh, now the weapon is glowing. So let's go ahead and try regular triangle in the EX. Boom. Can I get another? What is something that... Alright, so what is that? Uh, Two-piece will recharge your weapon. Okay? Or one-piece, rather. Sorry. One-piece will recharge your weapon. And then I do two-piece as it's charged. And now we'll do a two-piece when it's not charged. Actually, it charged up on its own? What was that all about? So, two-piece. I lose the charge on my weapon. Now, two-piece again. It looks... It's definitely a big difference. Yeah, definitely... Go ahead and charge it up again and try out the three piece. So you do your three piece and man, it kicks some major ass. And let's do it now that the weapon's no longer charged. Uh, how can I lose my charge quickly? I'm trying to figure out how to burn my charge off. There we go. Damn it, came back. I don't. I really don't understand how the charge comes back. Maybe if he drags it on the ground, it's kind of like Roni Kenshin. You have Shishio, you know what I'm talking about? So three piece. Alright. Don't drag it on the ground. And there's a, that's the three piece without the weapon being charged. Uh, weapon not being charged. Four piece when it's not charged. Let's go ahead and charge the weapon. Now that the weapon is charged, four piece changed. That is so bizarre. So that's the new four piece when the weapon is charged. Let's do the when it's not charged. That's it when it's not charged. That is so crazy. And yeah, dragging it, the weapon on the ground does recharge it, guys. What an interesting weapon. So now we'll check out the uh the five piece while it is charged. When it's charged, he spins around, he does the big explosion, and now we lost the weapon charge. And then the five piece when it's not charged, it doesn't look as flashy. So you want to make sure that you're dragging your weapon or you're uh, uh, using a charge attack that'll get it back for you. Every time he drags it on the ground, it gets it back. 
And as you can see, we we lost the weapon charge again. That is real interesting. I never really got to try this weapon until now. And I like it a lot. I really do. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's unique. There's no... What other weapon out here do, can you drag on the ground to get your charge? None. Look at that. Dragging it gets you the juice. And it just makes sense that you're trying to... Because it looks like it's being dragged, right? So it just makes sense that it's doing this. And the way that it affects all of your attacks is just awesome. Uh, so, let's go ahead and check out the Musou attacks once everyone spawns. <clears throat> I don't think the weapon being charged matters. It looks like he charges the weapon while he does the Musou attack, which is pretty sick. And jumping Musou attack as well. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sun Chuan is actually, I would say he's actually amazing in this game. Re really unique weapon, and it works very well. Check out the uh, Raging Musou attack. I hope it's a fast one, please. Yes! It is definitely a fast one. I like it. Boom. Wow, that is awesome. And now, last but not least, we have the unique magic. Oh, that unique magic, it it reached all the way the fuck over there? Yo, they made Sun Chuan a monster in this game. Look at this. Look at the range on that. It hit everybody all the way to back there. How, how far back can I go? Let's see if that reaches. Dude, it just... it. Wow, you can wipe out an entire room with his unique magic. So Sun Chuan, definitely with this new blade, he's absolutely amazing in my opinion. You guys don't have, uh, you guys have not given him a go, I would recommend giving him a go now. Especially if you've been watching this episode. Um, well, if you're up to this point, now you understand how his weapon works. I just personally learned that, I learned it right now. Uh, because of how the one piece and everything was working, so now my weapon's not charged. So EX right now let's charge it let's go ahead and charge it and let's try the ex now on the first one i don't see a difference but it definitely affects your four piece uh your three piece looks stronger it looks like your three four and five piece all look even stronger and would appear to be stronger um when you are when you do have your weapon ignited like so so this is actually really awesome um Wow, really impressed. That's uh, pretty cool. So, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll catch you next time when we take on the next story mission. And until then, uh, see ya. Yep, bye-bye.